today i can say by and large there is a bipartisan view of india it's not that one party is strongly for and another is against it and to a large extent uh, politics is also very individual so some leaders uh, some prominent figures in each party would take more interest others may not take the same same level of interest so i would attach no sense of partisanship at all uh, when it comes to uh, india the uh, the second question the, really the number the question which is in a sense the us uh, uh, uh relationship with pakistan and the the military relationship that uh, the us has had now you all know that this is not something of recent making it has gone on for many years and you also know that uh very honestly it's it's a it's a relationship that has neither ended up serving pakistan well not serving american interests well so it is really for the united states today to reflect whether this you know what are the merits of this relationship what do they get by uh, by keeping it uh, sort of uh, uh, continuing because at the end of the day you know for someone to say i am doing this because it is for counter terrorism when you are talking of an aircraft like the capability of the f16 i mean we are, everybody knows you know where they are deployed and what is the use and what is their capability so uh, you know you're not fooling anybody by saying these things so the the point is uh, we we really think uh, countries finally make their choices based on their own interest and i would make a you know a case if i were to uh, speak to a, a american policy maker i would really make a case saying look what you are doing forget about us for a moment it's actually not good for you what what you are doing reflect on the history look at the last many years of where this relationship has taken you and and how much you know what a cost you have paid for it thank you and um